Hello again guys, uh, so last video I did, I did a video about uh, Retribution Games. Uh, there's a card with a little logo, and a uh, nice little cute Barney dinosaur. Um, yeah, so they want a purple T-Rex with a power glove as their logo. Yeah, it's a cool, cool little thing, but it's also Barney. Uh, so... When I went there, I was uh, I picked up a few games, a few things. That's what this pile is, kind of blocking some of the pile, um, not to give it too much away with this limited run box. So just ignore that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through things that uh, that I got. Uh, so my wife, uh, she went with me to the grand opening, and uh, she wanted some plushes for my son. So we were able to get a Yoshi. Super Mario plush. This is actually officially licensed, and this is from Japan, an import. So we're able to get a Yoshi uh, pillow for my son, and also the Famicom controller, also officially licensed by Nintendo. There's a seal, Nintendo seal on there. Famicom pillow, long pillow of the controller. So yeah, two little plushes for my son. Little Theo. For his room. And, uh, okay. So. Well, where should I start? I did get quite a bit there. And, uh, we'll start with, uh, I guess these. So they had, uh, they had a stack of repro games. Reproduction games. These are all, these are all fan translated from, uh, from the Japanese releases. Uh, translated to English and then just put on a ROM on a cart. So uh, this is Treasures of Rudras. I have not played it. It is a JRPG. So looking forward to playing this one. Uh, this is twenty price of twenty bucks. I love these clear green cases. This is actually a Squirrels game. Uh, Squirrels games. Squirrels Custom Games. Uh, you could find him on Facebook, and he makes these. He's part of the Dallas Retro Gamers Club. Uh, so if you come out to any meetings, he's always there. Marco's always there, and he has his cards for sale. Um, somehow, they had some of them at a shop, and I love repro games. I'll go through my list of repro games in a different video, but uh, play games that you never got in the U.S. So, pretty awesome. Next game is <laughs> Sailor Moon. This is Sailor Moon, another story. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, another story. Uh, another Squirrels Custom Games and uh, fan translated. And it was only released in Japan. So uh, it just, I didn't want to leave it there. It just was lonely. So I got it. My wife might try it too. Next game is Star Ocean on the SNES, which never got released here. It was re uh, it this was released on the PSP. I uh, don't think the the PS One only had the second game. So uh, this is Star Ocean on the from that was on the Super Famicom, fan translated to English. This was a little bit pricier, 50 bucks. So some of these games uh, they take a lot more memory in there, so they have to have a higher cost chip in them. So some of these games are a little bit more if you're getting into every pros. There's, you know, there's some simple games that don't take much memory at all to put the card on, the, the ROM on, and this is one of them that needs a more memory. Clock Tower. It's on a nice, pretty red case. I'm not much of a fan of the repros that are just on gray cases. I love to have, I want people to know that it is a repro. It is not a real game. You know, it's a fan translated. And you can tell the difference of weight of these two. There's so much more in this one. So, Clock Tower. Uh, this was released on just PS1, I believe. But, yeah, it's on the Super Nintendo now as a fan translated. 
Magic Knight Ray Earth. Again, another game that was uh, released in Japan only. Now, I don't. I'm not sure if this is the same as the Saturn game. I don't think it is. Uh, but it's on a regular gray cart. And if it had a colored cart, I'd prefer that. I might actually talk to Marco at Squirrels Custom Games and see if he could print me out a new one, and I'll give him trade him the cart just so it's a uh, different color. All right, and then this is actually a real Super Nintendo game. So John Huston recommended that if I like beat 'em ups, which I do like some beat 'em up games, Batman Returns on the Super Nintendo is actually a really good beat 'em up. So I picked this up. It was uh, 11 bucks. Got it in my game collection now. Didn't have it before. I'm having to rebuild my whole Super Nintendo collection again. And then we'll go to regular Nintendo Entertainment System. So this is a uh, shoot 'em up, Dragon Spirit. Uh, came highly recommended from a friend so and this was six bucks so love some shoot 'em ups too beat 'em ups shoot 'em ups good stuff and i should have had something closer to me to put all these games on all right back xanadu another rpg uh, not much to say about it but back xanadu it's classic this one was nine dollars there which I've seen it go cheaper, but it's still nine bucks. You know, you get a good working copy. So I have been, uh, since I have the CRT TV, I have the Sony Trinitron TV, and I have the Joy Con, jo um, not Joy Cons, that's Switch, the uh, Gun Cons for the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Still trying to find the PlayStation 3 one. I've been trying to get some uh, shooter, shooter games, rail shooters, and I have Point Blank 2. Which is, you know, like a party shooter game. So, you know, my son and I, my wife, we'll just sit there with our gun cons and uh, shoot some shoot some games. So, game from Namco. I have Point Blank 3 already, also. Uh, I got all the Time Crisis games. Uh, I'll show those off sometime. I'll, I'll make a video later of all my gun con games. So, looking forward to that. Looking forward to all these. And we got the... Uh, Dreamcast game of the Sega Smash Pack. Uh, this has got Sonic, Golden Axe, Shining Force. The main reason I got it, it has Shining Force. I love the Dreamcast. Uh, Streets of Rage 2, Wrestle War, Columns, Virtual Cop, Fantasy Star 2. Another good game. Vector Man, Altered Beast, Revenge of Shinobi, and Sega Squirrel. Uh, this was 15 bucks. It came complete. Disc is near perfect. You know, it's Another great game, so a whole bunch of great games. I do like their Smash Pack. I'm not sure if there's a Smash Pack 2 or not, but 12 games, 15 bucks, a little bit of buck a game. Uh, so, I have a box version of this game. I did not have a manual with it, and uh, he donated a manual to my collection. So, this is uh, Beware of the Ultimate Evil of Warlock. So, I now have a complete game because I was missing this manual. Another manual I was missing was the Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy original book on uh, regular Nintendo. This has got some water damage. This was also another, you know, another freebie. But uh, yeah, I mean it's beat beat up pretty bad. But you know, got it complete now. I already had the map, so just didn't have the book. Uh, one thing I did have, I did not have, was I needed a version, uh, a manual and a case for Mario Kart. I got the big box that came with the Wii wheel, and uh, for the Wii mode. Now I have the actually in the game, but I didn't have a box, so I have the box, and I also have a manual receipt also sticking in there, um, and GameCube memory card. I never have enough of those. So, yep. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Josh, uh, for this and those manuals. Uh, see. So, John Houston was there also, and uh, yeah, he, uh, you know, we're good friends. We we give each other games and everything. He gave me a copy of Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. 
So this is a fan-made sequel to the Chrono Trigger game. Uh, I've never played it. I am so looking forward to playing it. I got a, a Chalia edition of Chrono Trigger. Uh, it basically, it's a what if uh, Shalia never died in the Water Palace. So this is a different story. This is continues the story. And it's on a nice uh, red cart. I love the clamshell case, you know, a little, little bit extra. This is uh, from 1UP Production Games. So, thank you, John Houston. I appreciate it. Uh, I only got... It's in my pickup video. Uh, I didn't get it from Retribution, but I got it while I was there from John Houston. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to save those. So, got an Xbox One game. Uh, Indigo Prophecy was six bucks. It looks like a mystery game. A stranger has been stabbed to death. The killer is you. So I've never seen it before. Uh, I've never played the Xbox uh, before recently. I never had it. So I've been trying to fill out my Xbox collection. And if I see a game that looks interesting, um, I'm going to grab it. So, you know, six bucks. It's complete. Disc is perfect. Awesome. Next game. Tales of Symphonia uh, for the GameCube. I actually did not have this. It is complete. The discs are perfect. Tales of Games. Man, I got a special place in my heart for Tales of Games. They're so, so good. Every single one of them that I've played. Uh, I got Tales of Symphonia on the Wii. And now I have it on the GameCube. GameCube is one game I've been trying to collect a lot of games for my son. I didn't have many GameCube games uh, when I Long ago, my GameCube was stolen with a bunch of other things, other consoles and games, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to rebuild my collection from scratch, and so, got this one off the list. I have the Sonic Mega Collection Plus uh, on the PS2, this is six bucks, it's got... Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Dr. Robotnik's uh, Mean Mean something machine. My eyes are not the best. Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic and Knuckles. So. Did not have it in my PS2 collection. I love the Sonic games. I'm, you know, it's sad to see that, you know, Sega is no longer making consoles, but I love that they're making their games available on every other console out there. Then uh, I got the Mega Man Anniversary Collection. So this has ten Mega Man games on here. So it's one one through eight, and two never released US US arcade games. So GameCube, they not the GameCube Cube collection even more. And uh, my phone keeps on vibrating. I keep getting a lot of messages. The Bruins won to two. Uh, blues are winning. Let's go Blues! Okay, so... I had one of these games loose, but I never had the full set. So this is the Devil May Cry 5th Anniversary Collection. It is basically three discs. Devil May Cry 1 through 3. Um, no barcode, it's just part of a set in the back, but these are basically perfect condition. A little bit worn on the outside, but came with this, this, the box sleeve, and uh, yeah, I got this for 20 bucks there. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I am going to play all these again on the regular PlayStation 2. So, I'm going to revisit these. It's been a very long time. And then I'll eventually get to the brand new PS4 one that just came out recently. Okay, so next stack here are some boxed, complete and boxed NES games. We got uh, Swords and Serpents, another like a uh, first person dungeon crawler uh, RPGs. 
Let's see, we have Ash Yannix. Complete in box. This was 20 bucks. This box was 13 bucks. It's excellent prices. I mean, the boxes are in pretty good condition too. They come with protective sleeves. Then we got uh, Heroes of the Lands. This is a uh, Dungeon and Dragons game. So I love Dungeon and Dragons. I'll have to show you my D and D book collection. It is quite big. Uh, my old friend Dave and I used to play a lot, and uh, I played since I was I think 11 years old when I first made a character named him Aen. Aen. Uh, I go by Aen Ashi now, or Aen if. You know, three character names online is hard to get just for the fact that most places won't let you do it. So I uh, made Aenashi, but Aen was my first character when I was 11 years old and playing D&D, &D, and I kept the name. And uh, 39 now, so it's been quite a few years I've had that name. And then uh, we got three more games. Two of them are NES still, and then one Nintendo 64, which is the best, the biggest pickup from there. So we have uh, Gauntlet. I remember as a kid going to Round Table Pizza in California and they had a sit down tabletop gauntlet. And I used to plug some quarters in there and play that when I was a kid. Loved Gauntlet. I always have a you know special place in my heart for this. Though the graphics on the tabletop is a lot better than NES one, but still I have Gauntlet boxed for 13 bucks. And the Heroes of the Lance was 20 bucks box. If you're wondering. Then uh, Gauntlet 2. They had this one also sitting there. This one was 15 bucks boxed. Now, when, one awesome thing you see, there's two price tags here. They have the complete in box price, which I've been. I've been, and then they have the box price. So they will sell their boxes separately from the game. So if you really want the box only and you have the game, they'll sell you just the box and manuals, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so this was 22 bucks, and I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. You probably could read it on there. Uh, this was 23 bucks. The boxes was 13 and 15. But I've actually, so I played this one when I was a kid on Nintendo. Never played Gauntlet 2. Um, I plan on playing both of these with my son one day when he gets a little older. He's, my son's only five months old right now, so still got a little bit to go. And, uh, you know what, before, before I go over to this one, let me grab a different box. I forgot about this box right down here. So, as I just mentioned, my son is, uh, Five months old and he is going to have his own game collection and I've been getting some games for him when they're really cheap so I was going through their they have us they were going to go they're going to go to the Houston Retro Palooza uh, next actually this Friday Saturday and Sunday so they're going down I won't be able to make it this time around but they had a whole bunch of games in there and that they were going to take down there and they were just going to basically blow out a, a whole bunch of games for three for five bucks or two dollars each. So I took advantage of it. I'm like, hey, can I go ahead and get that deal now since I can't make it down there? And uh, yeah, so I got some games here. We'll go with the Wii U first. I have Nintendo Land. We got, uh, we're, we're gonna boogie together. I, I guess it's, uh, you know, you make your own avatar and some karaoke and uh, dancing. Not sure. Astro Boy, I kind of got this for myself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, got Astro Boy. We got Heathcliff. I don't know if you guys remember this. You know, it was an old cartoon. Long, long ago. It's a kart racer. So, and they wanted to go back in the box. Because, you know, cats love boxes. We got some whiskey. You know, some shovelware. You know, my son is going to have fun playing these games. You know, it's, you know, make your own little character and go down and you know, use the balance board, the Wii balance board. You know, he's going to have fun with that. And we got uh, Kid Adventures Sky Captain. 
Why not? My son will enjoy it. And we got Star Wars Clone Wars. So, you know, he's gonna gonna fight some uh, Sith and have fun. Carnival games, you know, that's another just stupid fun game that, you know, we're gonna enjoy. Billy the Wizard, Wizard and the Rocket Booms Broomstick Racing. Another racing game. It's always fun. We've got some Fling Smash. Monster Jam, you know. Like, oh, what kid doesn't want to just tear up some cars with a big monster truck? And then Boom Blocks. So those were the uh, Wii and Wii U games. Uh, these ones were not in the deal, but I did get them. I bought these specifically for my son. And not going to lie, I will play these also for myself. Uh, I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan also, so I got uh, two Scooby-Doo games. I got Knights, Knight of the Hundred uh, Frights and Unmasked. So, you know, I paid $9 and $11 for those. And then I got Superman, uh, Shadows of... Apocalypse. Love Superman, and you know, these some of these GameCube games are a lot of fun. So yeah, got those. These are these weren't part of the deal, but they're for my son. Let's go with the PS1 games. So we got uh, Disney Learning, ages two to four, preschool. Rugrats. This is uh, another kart racer. And then I got Sesame Street, Elmo's Adventure, Letter Adventure. Got to educate my son, you know. Educate, you know, play some games and also learn something. So when he gets appropriate age for these, we'll be doing these games together. Uh, oh, this wasn't also in the deal, but I did get this. Uh, I got Lego City Undercover. Uh, I've been trying to get a lot of the Lego games for him, and... I did not have very many handheld games, so I got this form. It is complete. I will play this one myself also. Because under, under, uh, LEGO City Undercover games are fun. And then we got some PS2 games. So we got, I'll just go through these really fast, there's a bunch of them. Uh, Shark Tale, Ice Age Dawn of Dinosaurs. Kung Fu Panda, you know, so like, you know, we'll watch the movie and they're like, hey, do you want to, want to play the game, you know, yeah, here we go, Jimmy Neutron, I mean, I loved this when I was a kid, you know, uh, watching this, this series, so, uh, I'm going to get the series and he's going to watch them also, I'm going to watch uh, Bolt, and then play some Bolt, Star Wars Starfighter, awesome, gotta love some uh, Star Wars games, and this is, uh, Ex Libris Robert and Kelly Weekly. Uh, I guess they owned it before because they have their sticker on the back. We've got Brave Search for the Spirit Dancer. Uh, it looked interesting. It is looks like an action platformer game. Brave uh, The Search of the Dragon Spirit. So, yeah. Simple gameplay, easy to master combat, use sticks, longbow, tomahawk, defeat enemies. Okay. Then we got Rayman, Raving Rabbids. Um, you know, I was never into the Rabbid games uh, until I played the Mario and Rabbid Kingdom. And that was a great game, and I want to try some of the Rabbid games. So, this one, yeah, uh, me. We got Ben 10 Alien Force. So, uh, that's the yeah, uh, all the games I got for my son. I mean, I got a pretty big stack of them. I got some other games from. GameStop recently for him also. I'll go ahead and share these real quick. You know, um, that is not for him or that. These ones are for him. So we got some three Sesame Street games. I don't, you guys uh, collect for your kids? You know, even though they can't play yet? Uh, let me know. Comment uh, down below and what games do you play with your kids? Because I am really interested and I want to you know, I want to bond with my son and play some games with him because I'm very passionate about playing games. So, okay, well, 
if you stuck around, uh, earlier I said I had, you know, one, like, I would say the Holy Grail game that, uh, that I wanted there, and, uh, I bought it, uh, and I guess I'll share that. So before I share it, uh, just so you know, they do take trades, uh, you get some pretty good trade credit, they were very generous to me, I had a whole bunch of games that I was, that I got in lots of where I just buy a whole bunch of games that I wanted, you know, one or two games from it. And then I just try to sell the rest, try to make some money back. And uh, I took all the games and all the extra stuff that I had that I was going to sell and uh, traded it all in. I had a massive amount of trade credit. That's where I got all these from. You know, so if you're, they do take trades, go on down to Retribution Games down in Fort Worth. And uh, yeah, you might walk out with a complete in box Conqueror's Bad Fur Day in excellent condition. I'll go ahead and open this up. And all other really nice games, and even not so nice, you know, like cheaper games, they're boxed, cardboard box. They have, uh, they, they keep them in protectors. They want to keep these games really nice. Let's, let's see here. I, of course, I opened it from the wrong side. But yeah, you got the manual and the other, you know, informational Nintendo 64 information. Looks like you got a little dinged up there. That's okay. Let's pull apart the other side. And then pristine label, pristine cart of Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Uh, I remember playing this as a teenager. I had, you know, we had, we only had like, uh, you know, a TV, one TV in the main living room when I was growing up as a teenager, and, uh, yeah, I was playing this, and, uh, when it says, you know, advisory, this game is not for anyone under age of 17, it has, a uh, a lot of adult themes in there, uh, you know, like the best, one of the best parts I remember playing as a kid, I haven't played it in many years, but you had a, you were in a tree, and you had to, you know, fight this, uh, uh candle monster you know this flame monster and you had to drink a bunch of beer and then pee on it to put it out so <laughs> a lot of adult oriented humor in there so yep conquer's bad fur day um so i really wanted it and it's mine now you know get a little bit of trade credit you could get you know these high ticket items and uh it does not hurt as much as just paying cash for them and you know what the condition it is when you buy it at the store so, again, Retribution Games. I'm going to put their address in the in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, check them out. Retribution Games, down in Fort Worth. Thank you. Little addition. So, I forgot that uh, I did help out a few days before they did open, trying to, you know, get some stuff priced. And I was able to take a sneak peek in some of their stock. And so I was able to get some other games. I forgot. I just looked over. I'm like, oh, I forgot I got those games. And uh, a few days ago. So a couple repros. Live Alive and Bahamut uh, Lagoon. These are both Squirrel custom games. But they were at uh, Retribution Games. And so, I mean, you all understand that eventually that I am really into JRPGs. I love JRPGs. RPGs just really shaped a lot of my gaming. And uh, two games that I played when I was a you know, kid, teenager, they had them there, complete in box, and I had to have them. So, I have uh, Breath of Fire. It's just such a great game. This is such, a, like, the pixel art in this is amazing. Breath of Fire 3 and 4 have, on PlayStation 1, have some of the best pixel art ever. You know, if a new company wants to make pixel art games, they need to look at those two games. Those are the games. Just absolutely gorgeous. Great story. It's a great game. And then, Breath of Fire 2. We had both of these sitting there. I believe Josh, this was Josh's personal collection that uh, he was putting up into his store for stock. You know, he's going all in. He's putting his own personal collection into this store. He wants to have that store succeed. You know, go visit them. Again, thank you, Josh. Thank you, Sarah. 
Miguel, you're awesome. You're going to manage that place. Great. Sam, uh, he's their employee also. Um, he, he's a pretty cool guy. You know, Josh and Sarah and Sam are pretty young. But, uh, you know, they're going to make it. And they need your help to make it. So go visit them. Thank you. Okay. The third thing I forgot to mention before. The shirt I'm wearing is one of my... I like the shirt. My wife absolutely hates it. What do you think of my pineapple shirt? You know, it's it's comfy and uh, you know it's pineapple. It's a wine shirt. You know, let me know in the feedback. I've been trying to get some people's feedback on this, so let me know what you think of my pineapple shirt. Should I keep it or get rid of it? Later. I'm really gone this time. Seriously, no more. Okay. I have a problem. I'm a liar. So that was it. But I was uh, over there trying to render the video and I just noticed, looked over to my left and there's a pile of games there and I'm like, oh, there is more that I got at Retribution Games that I forgot to show you that I thought, were, you know, a couple cool things. One of them is specifically for a buddy of mine, Eric Landon, RPG, JRPG, amazing channel. He, he's like, I always call him Professor Landon because he always teaches me about JRPGs. Uh, when I was looking at, you know, try what you know what game I want to try next, I always looked up his videos, and it was just amazing. He's a great author also, so he's a really cool guy. And uh, so one of the games that he talked about before, because he, he's got a special place in his heart for fighting games. And uh, he mentioned this one before, Spectral vs. Generation. This is a fighting game, and uh, it's a POW only, never released in the United States. Um, and yeah, Retribution Games actually had this sitting on the shelf. The guy was like, yeah, I put it for 25 bucks because he couldn't find anything on it, on um, how much it should be. And I'm like, I will take that because I have never seen it before, and you just don't find them on eBay. They're just, you just don't find them. So that was really cool to find this there. Uh, I also picked up another PSP game, the Sega Genesis Collection. I was talking about earlier about the, you know, it was awesome, you know, that uh, I got the Smash Pack from uh, on the Dreamcast, and I picked up this one also. It just has 28 classic games. Um, <laughs> Is there a quick list here of the games? Well, it has a whole bunch of games on it. 28 games. Uh, the ones that they list on the back, Alex Kid and the Enchanted Kingdom, Bonanza Bros, Kid Chameleon, Flicky, uh, Gain Ground, Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4. That's what got me on this one. Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4 on here. So, I love my PSP. So, how to get this one? Uh... Death Smiles, shoot them up. This is the uh, plate that you can replace your uh, your Xbox 360 cover with, plate with, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, he had no idea, idea what to do with it. It was just in a box of stuff that he got from someone. So I'm like, I'll take it. So this was a donation. Thanks again, Josh. I appreciate this. Um, yeah, I love these face plates. I want to get the, some of the Final Fantasy ones. Control Sonata has a couple cool ones. So. There's some RPGs out there too. So, the Death Smiles, shoot 'em up game. Pretty cool. Uh, then, the last two items, I swear this time, though I'm staring at another pile of games over there on my desk. I don't think any, I think those are all from the Dallas Retro Meetup, Gamers Meetup. But, uh, so, um, I used to have Dot Hack um, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I had them all. I, I got them all now. They're all up there, but they were gone at one time. The co collection got stolen in the past. And uh, so I got the games back. I'm trying to find the guides. He had uh, Quarantine. This is the fourth game. So he had the guide there for it. And uh, yeah, so I have the first guide and the fourth guide. I need two and three now, and then I'll have all the guides again. I have all the games complete with DVD. So yeah. Dot hack quarantine. 
And then Wild Arms. I mean, this thing right here. I don't think anyone's actually looked at this because it is in such good condition. The whole spine, everything. So cool little strategy guide. I mean, it's it's a very tiny guide. I don't think it's it's very condensed. Uh, yeah, well, it's only it's 129 pages, but um, yeah, Wild Arms. It's a great series. I do love it. And. Uh, all the games that I just had stacked from the video I just recorded just went all over the ground. So um, with that, I am going to, um, well, I'm not going to, I already took off my pants because I thought I was done recording. And, uh, don't worry, they're shorts. I'm not wearing boxers right now. Well, I am wearing boxers. Anyways. But I cut it off here now. See you guys later. I swear I'm done no more but uh later guys okay i'm back uh i just wanted to show this yeah all the games just kind of went all over the floor